Hi Aries, welcome to your Love Connection reading for August. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. I dropped the Leo, it used to be Leo Sunlight Insight Tarot, so it's still the same channel. It's just now with Sunlight Insight Tarot. So welcome Aries, hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. This is a Love Connection reading intended for a soul connection, love connection you believe you have with somebody. And you could be with this person, not with this person, but there's still a connection there. So we're going to look at the energies between you, how you're both feeling about each other in the connection, the possible outcome could be, maybe some advice for you and see what's going on. This is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. General collective reading. So please only take it how it resonates for you, may or may not be for you, although you know, only certain parts may be for you. Roles may be reversed also. Um, I will do one side you, one side them, but if you feel at any time the energies need to be reversed, please feel free to do that. It could be past, present, or future, however it resonates for you. So Aries. And I will say the signs as I see them. So if that makes sense, totally fine. If not, only take the signs that resonate for you, but it could be anybody, literally. So... So this is for Aries. So I'm going to do here, Aries, is first deck there was the Zodiac Oracle. So I use that just to get, we could get a sign, element, or planet with this deck here. See how that plays into your reading, if that resonates for you. The, this energy oracle here, this is the secret language of light. We're going to get an opening message. Oh yeah, and I wanted to get a closing message for you. All right, they're telling me just to take the middle of the deck. So this will be your closing message on your connection. This will be your opening message on your connection. And now with this deck here, actually let me reveal these first and then we'll get into uh, that deck. So first we have here is the sun, which is Leo energy but doesn't have to be. So the sun is all about um, who you are, who you are as a person, your soul, your spirit, your originality, it's your sun sign, so it's what makes you you, and it's all about that fire and that passion. So let's see. So you could be dealing with a Leo. If not, totally fine. But sun and tarot is the happiest card in the deck. It's the best card you can possibly get. It's a positive, happy outlook in every way, shape, or form. And for the opening message on your connection here, we have Visca Piscis 26, which is 8. 8 is about taking action travel communication. I'm a little bit not sure about this. I've only getting, I've only got this uh, card just a few times. So let me just read a little small snippet. It's about creating soul truth in the world. So I think it's about connecting, connecting with yourself, spirit, the universe, and shining your truth, being connected with your soul tribe, your soul family, with who you are and being connected and intertwined with all that energy and shedding your light, your truth, who you are, just like the sun energy, out into the world, and being in that positive, peaceful energy and mind space and state in, all, in every way, shape, and form, really. And you see, like, everything interconnected here, and in, inside out, in all ways. So that's being interconnected in every way, shape, or form. So this could be, and I do see a lot of the infinity symbol here, almost like the number eight, so that is like, you know, this, you could have had infinite um, lives with this person also. Somehow your lives could have intertwined through many lifetimes. All right. That other card there will be your closing message. So with this deck here, uh, Aries, we will get one for you, one for them. How you're both feeling about each other and the connection. One for the mutual energy. So it'll be three cards total. For you Aries, love connection reading for August. Love connection reading for August for Aries. Aries, I'll put you here, your person here, and then uh, mutual in the middle. But like I said, if you feel like the energies need to be, that's too many, uh, switched, please do that at any time. Okay, that's you, them, and now the mutual connection. So let's see what we have here for you, Aries. So for you, we have Towering magnificent, Magnificence. <laughs> Magnific I can't even say that word. 
30, which is three. A three is always to me about teamwork, collaboration, coming together, people coming together, uniting. Uh, it's like a socializing community card. So you, I think you see this uh, connection as something great, something big, something beautiful, or you see them in that energy, something just magnificent. So they may be very attractive or they might just have a really big personality that stands out. Maybe they're very wise, they're strong, they're stable, they're grounded, um, like, you know, like a mountain. Maybe they're a little stubborn too. So let's see how they're feeling. So we have the Christ flame, which is 31, which is four. I'm almost getting uh, four is kind of to me like the 1111. It's a very stable energy. Um, you know, it's about the foundation. And four to me is like the twin flame number, 1111. So the Christ flame here is about, um, I'm almost getting like that twin flame feeling. But um, just reading a little snippet here. Since this deck is very, very different, sometimes it's hard to read. And I don't use it often. Um, this oracle brings guidance that you are connecting with the universal Christ consciousness and your heart is meant to awaken as a sacred heart. So we all know that Christ and uh, Mary Magdalene, I believe, were twin flames. So, you know, whether a male or female, you know, they could know this is a very special um, connection, maybe almost like a twin flame connection. So let's see what the mutual energy is. Dance of the planets. 56, which is 11, and 11 to me is like the twin flame number. So this is like the planets aligning, like the universe working its magic, working uh, together. You know, every planet has a different energy in astrology. I'm not an astrologist, but every planet stands for something, has a different energy. And it's like all those energies work together to make you, them, who you each are, what this connection is. So this definitely could be a twin flame connection here. So we'll see. Let me get into the... And the sun energy does uh, represent the divine masculine energy, whether it's male or female. You can be female and have masculine energy. All right. Or, you know, it could be same sex. So one's more masculine, one's more feminine, however it uh, plays out for you. All right. So let's clarify this energy for you, Aries. Wow. Okay, so let's pull some cards for you, Aries, first. Let's pull some cards for Aries. And then I'll pull some for your person. Let's make sure you can see all the cards here. All right. Let's get six for your person, and then we'll do a few for the mutual connection. So just give me a minute while I lay all the cards out, and then I will read them for you, Aries. And if this does resonate for you, Aries, there will be an extended reading. I'll explain what I'll go over. That's the mutual energy here and the extended reading. Everything you need to know is down in the description box. Decks I'm using, social media, your playlists are down there, so feel free to check all that out if you like to. So let's see, you have here, Aries, we do have the the Four of Wands, there's my Twin Flame energy, there's my Twin Flame card. We have the Chariot, Cancer energy, so this is positive movement forward. The King of Pentacles, so King of Pentacles is that husband-wife material. This could be um, Virgo, it doesn't have to be. So <laughs> I feel like you want this to move forward. You want this to move forward in a positive energy. You do see this as your divine partner, as maybe husband-wife material here. Four of Wands can be about marriage, moving in, commitment, you know, the chariot, having that positive movement forward. And we have the Six of Pentacles, and we have Temperance and Judgment. I feel like here, we got Scorpio, Sagittarius. I feel like here, you've already made a decision on this. Relationship Life Review. This is about soulmate resurrection, coming together, forgiveness. Um, it's like you already made a judgment here about equal give and take, knowing uh, this is what you want with this person. Temperance energy. So it's about having patience, and it's about balance, and it's about peace and harmony. And this te temperance angel also is about soulmates coming together. 
So we have two cards here of soulmate resurrection coming together, energy here, but being patient, balance, balance. You've already made that decision. This is your, you're like, this is my future spouse. This is my person. There's something magnificent that I do not want to use. Yeah, the Ace of Swords energy here. So you've had that divine clarity from source, from within, um, knowing, just total clarity here. Epiphany, awakening, aha moment. You just know it deep down within with the Ace of Swords there. And now we have the Six of Cups. So this is, again, about soulmates returning, coming back together. You could have known this person since childhood, worked together, college, um, but past lives together. Again, this is about past lives together with the Six of Cups energy. So again, soulmates coming back together, feeling like home, feeling like you've known them forever. Things of the past. So it could have to do with things of the past also. So you, your person has the Christ flame. So we do have the Seven of Wands and the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is about coming forward, you know, forward movement in love. So the Knight of Cups could be uh, Scorpio. So maybe, you know, maybe they kind of blocked you or maybe they put their guard up a little bit against this and said, oh, I don't know at first, you know, if I want this. But then I feel like eventually they felt this divine connection. So now maybe they're wanting to come forward um, in love now. Three of Cups energy. I mean, it doesn't always have to be third party, but um, three to me is an energy of coming back together, reuniting, celebrating kind of energy. And we do have the Five of Wands, so conflict in the Knight of Wands in the Wheel of Fortune. Again, I feel like they're very conflicted or they could have felt like you had a lot of competition or it was in very competitive to get your attention in a conflict within them. But now we have the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy again. So this and Knight of Wands is both Sagittarius. So we have three cards of uh, Sagittarius here. But, you know, Wheel of Fortune. So this is fate, luck, divine timing. Things getting better, going in the right direction. Again, a soulmate alignment. Now coming forward, not only with love, but with a lot of passion here. So if they were once conflicted and put their guard up a little bit, uh, you know, against you and this connection, I feel like now the universe has kind of showed them, hey, you know what, this is a divine partner. This is your soulmate. This is your twin flame. It's time to take action. The Knight of Wands takes, Knight of Wands takes action. So I feel they're going to be taking action where, where they were once defensive and on guard and conflicted. Now I feel like uh, they may be wanting to at least take some action here because they feel this connection through infinity. And here's the planets trying to align this between the two of you. So let's see what the mutual... We have the Page of Swords and the King of Wands. So we got Leo. The sun was Leo. So again, the Page of Swords could be, you know, spying on each other. So maybe you're kind of keeping tabs on one another, spying on one another, see what, seeing what the other one is up to. Because also over here, to clarify, their energy is the hangman. So I feel like, again, Pisces doesn't have to be, you know, they kind of maybe left you hanging for a while. Like, oh, I'm not sure. Again, defensive on guard. They're conflicted. But, you know, gaining new perspectives here with the hangman and enlightenment. And now re coming ready, uh, getting ready here to take action. We do have the Seven of Cups energy. Again, could be about options, confusion, choices, you know, daydreamy kind of energy. Not sure what to do. But we do have the Ten of Cups here. Now realizing, wow, this could be my Ten of Cups person. Total happiness, joy, fulfillment, ho happy home and family in every single way. So again, for the mutual connection here, you know, could be spying on one another. Um, but this could be honest communication coming in. This person now wanting to take action, but then also coming through as a king, which is almost like that divine masculine energy, which is Leo with the sun energy. So being in their divine power now and ready, okay, I'm ready to tell the truth and take action here. So we do have now the three of pentacles and death. So we got Scorpio. I feel like maybe they kind of thought they ended it with you, but now there's an energy, okay, I want to come back in. Can I come back in now? And maybe there was a third party. Maybe there wasn't for some of you. There could have been. And maybe there's an ending to the third party. So we did have the Three of Cups here. Now they're wanting you. Coming back. Can we rebuild this? Can we work on this now? I want to, you know, work with you. And this is about transformation, transcendence with the Death card. Can we transform and transcend this connection for a new beginning? Because here's the sun in the background. 
So now we have the Queen of Swords. So again, you know, this could be uh, Libra. This is like Justice in the Four of Pentacles. So again, could have been, you know, a little bit of a holding back here, um, holding on, not letting go, holding on, you know, holding on to each other's energy and not letting go of the energy, but yet holding back physically um, towards each other. You know, not communicating, but maybe still connecting in the 5D kind of energy. But the Queen of Swords here could be, you know, Libra energy doesn't have to be. But again, sometimes the Queen of Swords have been through a lot, whether it's you or them. Maybe that's why they were in that energy. But you could have been in that Queen of Swords energy if there was a third party and just cut them off completely kind of energy. But yet, kind of still, you know, holding on to their energy. But I feel like, um, yeah, because that could have brought in a Tower moment, Aries, which is your energy. You know, that could have brought in a, maybe you brought in a tower moment to them by cutting them off completely. And cutting off that toxic energy with the devil energy if there was a third party. Or if they were just, you know, not communicating, they were holding back, they were on God, defensive, um, holding back their energy. You're like, okay, if you're going to do that, well, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut you off and cut out that toxic kind of energy because of maybe fear, doubt, confusion. And I feel like that could have caused a tower moment uh, for them. Because what do we have now here is the Ace of Cups, random beginning in love, love and emotions overflowing, healing, peace, harmony here, and ready to take a leap of faith. Aquarius energy with the Fool card. Wow. So, wow, Aries. So I see they are now starting to see this connection for what it is. Now they want to come back in. They want to work on it. There's a third party. I feel like they probably dropped that. They want to end that. They, want, they only want you now. Uh, you see, do see them as something great, though. So I wasn't really getting third party, so maybe, you know, and it could be anything. It could be working too much. It could be addictions, obsessions. It could be gaming too much. I mean, it could be anything and not a person or family, you know, uh, meddling and controlling, you know, whatever it was for them. But I feel like now they're ready to just come forward, say, I know what this connection is now. The planet's aligning this and wanting to work on it to get to... Ace of Cups to the Ten of Cups. Wow. So if there hasn't been any communication or nothing happening here, um, we're going to look into the extended reading. Links are below for Vimeo or Patreon in the description box and how that works is down there also. And if you're new and this resonates for you, please do like, share, subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out. You can check out my channel first. Oh, we're going to do your closing message too. Um, you can check out my channel first if that resonates for you. Um, anything resonates for you, please do subscribe at the bell. You won't miss out. And if you do, thank you and welcome to the family. In the extended, I will clarify more energy. I will look if you take action towards them or if you wait for them to take action, what's going to happen uh, in that energy and the future of the connection also. And then I will pull some Hidden Truth Oracle about this connection. And then I have some letter tiles here, and we'll pull some letter tiles if we get words, names, how that resonates for you. So your closing message here is focus. So I have 37, which is 10. The tens are about endings, completions, full circle, and one is a new beginning. So I feel like they're ready to end anything that was in the way of this connection and wanting to come back together for a new beginning with you. They're ready to take that leap of faith with you, um, Aries. Wow. Okay, Aries, we're going to go with the extended now, and if I, if you do, I will see you over there. If not, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings, and as I always say, is to always, always shine your light.